Hi, this is Mika. I'm here to interview Miss Holly Thompson. Okay. Why did you first come to Japan? Uh, I came to Japan the first time because my husband had already lived in Kyoto for a year and a half and he was really eager to come back. Um, why have you stayed so long? Is it because of my I stayed so long? Um, because we really like it here. We're really content and we've raised our two children here. So this has been home for them. And, um, so it's a second home for, for us, definitely. <laughs> Why did you choose to write first novel? Uh, first novels are um, something I've always been interested in and I love poetry. And I love um, telling a story where you take out all the extra things and you just leave the most important essence, the core of the story. And with verse novels, I think you can get a really strong inner voice, very emotional story, very easily. What are the good points about points when you write in this? In verse? Yeah. Um, in verse, it's difficult to do dialogue sometimes. The dialogue is um, it's hard to do because it has to sound natural. Um, but doing it in verse makes sounding natural challenging sometimes. So you condense, make it less and less and less, and that can be hard. The good thing is you can control the pacing, you can speed up the reader, slow down the reader, control the pause, the page turns, all of that is fun to play with. What is your opinion about people who got mental illness? Um, mental illness is so common. Um, it's uh, all around us all the time. And so my feeling is, in writing orchards, is I hope that more people can become more aware of uh, depression and uh, issues that uh, people who suffer from depression do. Miss Club, how did you make this realistic main character? Did you actually have the experience that Emma had? Actually, no. Um, except that you know. Somewhat like Emma, I, I go back and forth between two cultures, the U.S. and Japan. Um, our children also both speak Japanese and English. Um, so in some ways they have languages inside them and languages outside. Um, so some of it is based on experience with biculturalism. And then other parts are really just listening to the character and building the story. Where do you get like, these ideas uh, from? From all around, you know, I think you get ideas from um, experience. You get ideas from things you read, from people you meet. Um, and then you just sort of start thinking up a character and you start asking yourself, who is this person? And, and, and building a character. It's almost like sculpting something, making it fuller and realer. Do you think that if people read those kind of books about bullying and mental illness, will people be more understanding about them? Mm, I hope. Yeah. I hope. Um, I think, you know, I don't want to teach a lesson when I write a book, but I do hope that maybe readers will start to ask questions and maybe start conversations with other people that they wouldn't have before they read the books. What do you hope readers will take away from um, From Many of my books are set in Japan. So for readers who are not in Japan, I hope they journey to Japan in a little way with these books. I hope they get a little more insight into Japan and um, life here. Um, for readers who are already in Japan, I hope that um, these stories
stories ring true and feel feel real and possible to them and make them think about where they are and their um, interactions with other cultures. It's cool. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for your questions. Bye. Bye. <laughs>